Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Book Formatting, Part 3, Adding the Book Text. Here's the scenario. If you watched Parts 1 and 2, you already learned how to add the styles and page setup for your book. Now you need to copy in the book text so you can apply the correct styles to the text. A special thanks to Daria and G. Giovanni for allowing me to utilize excerpts from her book, Water Signs. Watch this video to learn how to do this. Go to the document with the original book text. In this document, there is no formatting. We'll highlight the entire document, go Control A, and then copy it, Control C. Go back to the document we're going to make as a template. Go Control V, which will copy in all the text. Now we'll start adding all the formatting. The style gallery will make formatting your document so easy. Watch how easy it is. This is the cover title. Just click. Cover subtitle. Just click. This is a separator. I'm going to make centered text. This is the cover author. This is the logo. This is all copyright text, which we're going to keep as normal text. Adjust the spacing. Delete extraneous hard returns from the original document. Apply talk title to the contents. This is a module. I want the first paragraph to be left aligned, but I want subsequent paragraphs to have secondary paragraph text. Here's a tip. You can use the F4 key, which will perform the last task you did. So the last task I did was click the secondary paragraph style. So now if I click F4, it will apply the same function. So I can go down the document and keep applying the secondary paragraph until I come to the next chapter or module. Another module. And a subtitle. Again, the first paragraph you want left aligned. Subsequent paragraphs, click the secondary paragraph style. Continue adding the styles throughout the book text. Here's a separator. Let me show you how I got the separator. I went to insert, clip art. I entered a search for separators and here I found it. I just clicked on it and it entered it into the document. It usually enters it much larger than it appears in the document now. So just adjust it and center it. Going back to the page before part one and before the chapter one, if you want to keep those pages free from header and footer text, you will need to put a section break next page before them. So I'll go to the page layout tab, click on breaks, next page, delete the page break. Do the same thing on this page. There's your section break, next page, and you can see that this page and the prior page no longer have the header text. If you don't care that the header and footers are displayed, the section breaks are not necessary. In such a case, you may want to modify the chapter numbering text to have the page break before, so that every time you click on heading one, the chapter will begin on a new page. And that is the end of this lesson, adding the book text.